Hey everyone, it's Megan from Bookish Delights. And this video is going to be my October TBR. And this month I'm going to challenge myself to read all of one author and that is Mary Higgins Clark. Her books are usually mysteries and thrillers and full of suspense and twists. And I figured reading her books this month is a perfect fit for October. And I have acquired a collection of her books recently so without further ado I'm just going to list up all the books. I'm not going to get into every description because I don't know every description of the book and I like going into books not knowing much about them but all I do know is that I already love her writing. And I do have two books that I own by her that I'm not reading this month because one, I have already read that book, which is No Place Like Home, I think is the book. And then the other one is written, co-written with her daughter, Carol Higgins Clark, and that is Deck the Halls, and that is more Christmas themed. So I'm going to wait until December to read that book. So I'm just going to jump into the list of books. So the first book I have, I'm trying not to get the overhead light to catch in my glasses, but it's kind of hard when you wear glasses and the only light that you use, the main light, is like right above you. So it's kind of hard not to catch the glimpse in the uh, lenses. So I'm sorry if it bothers you. It bothers me, but I can't see without my glasses and I don't wear contacts and I don't plan on wearing contacts. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. So the first book is I've Got My Eyes On You. And like I said, I don't know much about these books because I like going in to her books pretty blind and just not knowing much about these. Next we have Let Me Call You Sweetheart. Some of these may be part of a series, but you can generally read her books not in order of the series like you can read them as like standalones i've done that in the past with some of her books and i so i honestly don't know which of these are part of series they might not be i think at least two are but i'm not quite sure next is the anastasia syndrome and other stories this is a collection of short stories next we have loves music loves to dance i think this one might involve a stalker i'm not quite sure i know at least one of them involves a stalker then we have a lock alone this is one of the newer books i bought and i kind of like the cover of it and i don't mind mass paperback editions for her books i'm I don't know, for Mary Higgins Clark and V.C. Andrews, I actually don't mind these style, these editions, but any other book, I prefer like hardback or just regular paperback. That's on the floor. Then we have On the Street Where You Live. Maybe this is the one that has a stalker. And then moving on, we have A Stranger Is Watching. This one is maybe also dealing with the stalker this is also like a library book that i got a discarded library book because it still has the plastic covering on it so i will probably be removing the plastic on this next we have i heard that song before i had this copy in a reader's digest and if you don't know a reader's digest is generally four books bonded up into one usually they're all, they're all different authors but in the same genre and i didn't really want to keep that copy because i wasn't interested in the other books but i found this at a thrift store and i knew that it was the book in the bind up so i no longer have that bind up of the readers digest and i just have this single book that's from it this one is You Belong To Me. I quite like the cover, uh, the colors in the sky, how they're kind of blending together. It's, it's quite nice. I like this one. 
Again, they're all probably generally about some type of murder or kidnapping or stalker. I know like at least two of them have stalkers in it. This one is I'll be seeing you. I quite like how it's a plain cover with the font and then there's like just like a creepy little eye. Let me see if the camera will focus. See, there's like a creepy little eye there. I kind of, kind of like that. It's like you don't really expect that to be there. And then the last two books I have, this one is Where Are You Now? This one I do believe is centered around the the main character her brother went missing while he was in college but they know that he's not dead or kidnapped or anything he just like ran away and just stayed hidden because on every mother's day i believe it is he calls their mother to just have like a little chat saying that he's okay and just to wish her like a happy Mother's Day. And then the main character, the sister, decides to try and figure out what happened to him and to see if he has any link to the, there's like a missing, there was a missing girl around the time that he had vanished. So she wants to find out what happened to him, where her brother is, and if he has any links and ties to the disappearance of this young girl so I believe that's what this one is about so I'm quite excited to read it and I really like the cover of this one like it's very dark and dim and this last book is remember me and this is also one of those like plain covers except for like a little thing down here and I don't quite know what this one is about I think it has to do with like a girl's family and missing memories. There's probably a death in here at some point, maybe more than one, there usually is. So those are the physical Mary Higgins Clark books that I want to read this month. There are some on Libby and maybe even Scribd that if I don't feel like reading a physical book then I will just switch over to like an ebook or even an audiobook if I don't feel like reading these but I want to try and attack these ones because these are my physical TBR and that is it for this video. I'm not going to pick from my TBR jar because this is a challenge. I just want to read Mary Higgins Clark books for this month and I'm not sure how I want to go forward with my monthly TBRs because I am a mood reader so I tend to not stick with TBRs so if you have any suggestions of how I can do some sort of monthly TBR even if it's not for the full month then please let me know in the comments below. If you have any other video suggestions leave them in the comments below. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon to be notified for whenever I post a new video and I'll see you next time.